The blood pressure, which is the force exerted on the side of the blood vessels as blood pumped around the body, is usually described with numbers in the form of 90 over 60 millimeter mercury, 120 over 80 millimeter mercury, and 140 over 90 millimeter mercury. Take for example the 120 over 80 millimeter mercury. The upper digit is called the systolic blood pressure, and the lower digit is called the diastolic blood pressure. The systolic blood pressure is the highest level the blood pressure reaches when your heart beats, whereas the diastolic blood pressure is the lowest level your blood pressure reaches as your heart relaxes between beats. Understanding which of these numbers you belong to is very important. People are generally encouraged to know their blood pressure numbers by taking their blood pressure check regularly. Blood pressure of about 90 over 60 millimeter mercury is considered to be low, and this can be dangerous. On the other hand, blood pressure of 160 over 100 millimeter mercury is considered to be high, while blood pressure of 120 over 80 millimeter mercury or 130 over 80 millimeter mercury is considered normal. In situations of too low or too high, individuals are encouraged to perform activities that can normalize the blood pressure. In this video, I will show you how to normalize the blood pressure using the TNS hypotension apparatus. The TNS hypotension apparatus works by balancing the bioelectric field in the body. Our body has bioelectric current which is used by medical expert to check patient conditions. When the bioelectric field in the body is not balanced, it can cause health problems because there exists a close relationship between bioelectricity and hypertension, a new discovery in medicine over a decade ago. The hypertension apparatus can also be used to reduce pain in any part of the body. It can be used to prevent hair loss, avoid gray hair, and treat migraine. Use the apparatus on your head for about three to four times a day. You can also combine the therapy with chemotherapy. When using the apparatus, it is advisable to avoid talking. 